we are back and we've been talking about aging in place yes. which is amazing learning a lot about it and also about some hidden medical conditions that you deal with every day yeah absolutely I'm not that she's treating us in the during the break but we're all like oh I'm <laughs> so going in right? we're, we're getting free advice right. Right. exactly exactly yeah and anytime you want to come in for a free screening that's more than fine anybody benchmark does free screenings yeah. at both of our oh, offices fantastic. so yeah stop on I, by but um, that should be part of your comfort keepers kind yeah. of thing. Like the package. Yeah, the package. Yes, yes, yes. Exactly. Yeah, Free screening. Yeah. yeah. We have to talk. <laughs> <laughs> talk to us about the back pain again because we, yeah, that's what we started talking about. Well, to bring about. it back, um, you know, I was listening to a podcast over the weekend, and one thing that really stuck with me is they called it wrinkles on the inside. So just normal part of the aging process, you know, we look at, <laughs> well, yeah, but unfortunately, as you, you know, we look at right. skin and aging, we lose collagen, and we get wrinkles, and we don't think anything of it. It's, it's normal, normal aging. aging. Well, that happens inside the body as well, normal aging process, and we're really finding that this degenerative disease Disc and bulging disc, as scary as it sounds, is just part of the normal aging process. So what, now what? As I age, and I know it's part of the aging process, what do we need to do? What can we do to help the symptoms and just that's where you know keep ourselves healthy absolutely mm -hmm. keeping strong keeping flexible you know kind of staying ahead of things before they get too too scary and um, too painful can be really beneficial so if you do have an imaging done and, and it comes back with one of these know that it's not the end you, you know you're not going to be bed bound forever you can you know get to your physical therapist do an evaluation and see you know maybe you have some strength deficits or some range of motion deficits that mm -hmm. you can work on that'll really help eliminate any pain that you're having because really having these conditions or having these diagnoses does not mean that you have to have pain. When you are caring for someone in the home and they are aging in place, is that something that, uh, talk to us a little bit about evaluations that you make. You see these people on a daily basis and your objective. Do you ever look at a patient and say, you know, I've noticed over a period of time that you're moving a little bit less or that you seem a little bit stiff. And then I'm not saying you diagnose because that's not what you do, but make re recommendations or help mm -hmm. them get to sure. who absolutely, they need to go. Absolutely. And it brought to mind because what we do is we go in and periodically do a, what we call a reassessment. Initially, when we have a client, mm -hmm. we go in and do a, a plan of care assessment. But however, we go back on a routine basis. In addition to that, we are interacting with that caregiver and that client contact weekly. Okay. So we know mm -hmm. if there's a, what, what they might need, or rec mm -hmm. and we make recommendations. So based on the uh, based on an observation. Okay. So some of the things, and it brought to mind what you were talking about, triggered something, and that is, in addition to meal preparation, we do mobility assistance. We help with range of motion. We mm -hmm. go on walks mm -hmm. because we know that when you are physically active, that also helps with any type of muscular. Um, mm -hmm. ailments. What do you say? Motion is lotion? Motion, motion is lotion. Is <laughs> Absolutely. And so we assist. Uh, the caregivers yeah, assist. passive with physical therapy basically mm -hmm. with the age. Mm -hmm. yeah. We're yeah. mobility assistance and so it's very important that we all stay physically, uh, in physically active as we age. When you're talking about doing assessments, what are some of the things that you actually would look at? In turn, we look at uh, the we ask them questions such as, you know, uh, the, um, do they have, um, do they need help with, like I said, with, um, oh goodness, can't activities, talk. Activities, activities yeah. of daily living. Activities mm -hmm. of daily living. Mm -hmm. Everything from, from meal preparation to. Dressing, showering. Uh, uh, bathing, grooming, um, uh, grocery shopping, er errands. Everything that you might think of from personal care, as we said, grooming. And, um. We also transportation is a oh, big is a big yeah, thing true. as we age, and so we we look at you look at that too. And the transportation brings me to you in about fifteen seconds. And talking about coming <laughs> coming to see you, yeah. How often 
we, you said you can come in for a free screening. Right. You can make an assessment and then plan from there. Yeah, and, and if we think that therapy is going to be beneficial mm -hmm. for you, I don't mind contacting your doctor, or you could contact the doctor, keep them in the loop, you know, let them know this is what we found um, with the screening. We'd like to, to initiate some physical therapy, you know, maybe get you started on a really great comprehensive plan to address what we found. Awesome. Well, that's all the time we have. It was so much fun, though, wasn't it? I, it's it's really, really interesting. Fast. Well, thank you for joining thank us you. today. Thank and you. And thank you for joining us here on the Senior Network, where senior care experts come together. See you next time.